Hello, and today I'm going to be doing a critique of the artwork of each of the stories in an issue of 2000 AD. It's a magazine which can only be bought in Great Britain. Uh, I do also have a free comic book day version which is sold internationally, but only on free comic book day, but anyway, to start. John Dredd. Artist Paul Marshall. Now this is the type of comic book art I love. Illustrative and a little bit cartoony as well. Shakara. Art Henry Flint. A very simplistic yet detailed artwork. And the selective color on the main character is really effective to me. Slain the mercenary. Artist. Um, just make sure I don't mistake for. The, but um. Anyway, um, <laughs> doesn't actually say whether it's art or right, but um, just say it more out loud. I know the side's quite noble, notable one. Uh, sorry, I just got a bit nervous. Uh, the creators are Pat Mills, Clint Lagley, and A. Parkhouse. Well, whichever one is the artist, um, I don't like them. I mean, sure, it's realistic, but a little bit too realistic. It looks too much like photography and CGI. As a matter of fact, the artist probably does use uh, photography, traditional painting and digital painting, but um, to me it's just uncomfortably realistic and ugly. I mean, if you're gonna have an artist like that, why not just make your story uh, a TV series or a movie? I just don't understand that type of artwork. I mean, I don't know if I even if I said this already, but. Even Alex's Ross artwork looks more like painting than photography. Sorry if I repeat myself. Rogue Trooper. Art by Stan Johnson. A very... Um... Really draws impact from the black and white of it. But, um... I'm not so sure if it should be in black and white considering the fact that the main character's skin is supposed to be blue and his eyes are supposed to be yellow. You can't tell that sort of stuff from black and white. Anthony Circus investigates a list of ten. Art Simon Davis. It's an interesting style, I'll give you that, but um, I don't get why sometimes the character's skin is blue. I mean, do they turn on and off to this type of special uh, creatures which the rogue trooper are? Anyway. Cadet Anson, which is a spin-off of Judge Dredd, art by Patrick Hold on. A style similar to Judge Dredd, but less cartoony. It has an interesting shading style. Necrofim. Art Lee Cutter. Very interesting grayscale artwork, which could only be used in a limited range of uh, comics, horror, slash, uh, you know, being one of them. And, not to take finally, uh, yes. Uh, Kingdom. Art by Richard Ellison. There's just something about the way this is drawn I love. 
I'm not even sure how to describe it. I mean, uh, it is a little bit, um, it's the type of artwork you'd expect to see in an animation, only without the shading of the lines. I uh, can't really show that well at this angle. So, yeah, just a critique, on my opinion, on certain art styles.